Hi everyone. Well, if you love both Lego and Ed Sheeran, then hopefully you'll enjoy this video. I'm actually making this video using PowerPoint as back in 2018 when I built this model, I didn't um, film any of it. So I did take a lot of photos, so I'm going to be talking about those. Uh, to give you a bit of backstory, the club I was part of back in 2018, the WA Brick Society was approached by Frontier Touring to see if we could help build a keepsake for Ed Shearer and his, as he was about to uh, embark on his Australia and New Zealand tour. And they wanted something to celebrate him selling one million concert tickets, which is certainly uh, an amazing achievement. So this is what we pretty much come up with. Initially, um, we didn't really know what to build as a keepsake. We thought maybe a trophy of some sort, but after giving it some thought, uh, given my previous history of building concert stages, and of course, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you can see I've built a lot of stages in my time. I thought maybe a type of mini concert stage, sort of trophy might be good and most suitable. We actually received the email exactly one week before the concert um, of the tour kicked off. Uh, or the first concert of the tour kicked off here in uh, Perth, the 2nd of March 2018. So we only had one week to do this. It meant, um, you know, had to get cracking on it uh, straight away. In my previous video, I did actually mention <laughs> that uh, I'm not good at building under pressure, uh, nor do I really like uh, working to deadlines, but there's the odd occasion like this one where you just can't pass off on the opportunity. So I started building on the Friday night and uh, by the Sunday morning I'd emailed um, back some of the pictures of what I'd made and thankfully, yeah, they, they were pretty happy with uh, what I'd come up with. So uh, that was good. I have some uh, construction pictures here. Um, I needed to make the base really solid. Um, I've used some like slope pieces down there. Uh, I've used uh, some of those star tiles. I think they're from the cinema set, uh, but they're really effective. Obviously Ed Sheeran being a star, the star tiles are, <laughs> are really effective there. And you will notice the LED lights. I think the uh, LED lights in my concert stages are have pretty much become a trademark. Another construction pick here, and you can see uh, yellow bricks down there. I think that um, the base was full of solid yellow bricks. Um, so if you were to drop it, it would just be a pile of black and yellow bricks pretty much um, everywhere. But it did need to be um, quite solid. Uh, I'm guessing it's gone on, well, I certainly hope it would have gone on to make Ed's mantelpiece somewhere and uh, wanted to make sure that it survived its journey. Another construction pick here, and as you can see, the cabling running through the various holes. Uh, it really is important to try and keep cabling hidden as much as possible. And I uh, used uh, battery operated LED lights. Here you can actually see two concert stages. Uh, one on the the one on the right is completed and the reason for that is uh, when I'd sent through the photos to Frontier Turing on the Sunday they pretty much said look you know they're really happy with it um, and they wanted me to make a second model for or a second one exactly the same for Frontier Turing boss Michael Gadinsky. Um, unfortunately and sadly a few months back Michael uh, passed away quite suddenly which was um, quite tragic. He, you know, Michael was a Australian music icon. Uh, he pretty much put, you know, Kylie Minogue and, and other um, Australian artists on the world stage. Um, he also put together Mushroom Records. Uh, he did a lot of work with Molly Meldrum. Uh, he put on heaps of concerts. And yeah, so um, they wanted one built for Michael as well. Uh, straight away, I was sort of like scratching my head thinking, oh, uh oh, do I uh, have enough of the same parts to build an identical stage? Um, I did have to make some modifications just to make sure they were pretty much um, identical. 
So that's the back of the stage there, and you can see the little battery box that sits in the bottom there. And this was the original finished product. Uh, you can see Michael on the right holding an award uh, to give to Ed for selling one million concert tickets. Uh, the guys at Frontier sort of noticed that I'd put a full head of grey hair on Michael and they said uh, they wanted him to have a bald head. They also said Michael doesn't wear sunglasses so wanted a face without the glasses. I didn't actually have any bald Lego heads at the time and had to order two from Victoria on Bricklink and have them express posted. Um, they made it on the Thursday, right before, well, the day before the concert, so just in the nick of time there. Um, they also noticed I'd put a band, so some band equipment on stage. You can see like a drum kit behind there, and they said, look, you know, Ed, it's just Ed and his guitar pretty much, so I uh, removed the drum kit. So this is how it did end up looking. You can see Michael on the right with his bald head. Um, I did a bit of work on the tiling, added uh, purple tiles just to really give it um, just an extra bit of color really. And there is the two stages together. Uh, one had red lights, uh, one had blue. I think the, the blue lighted one was the one given to Ed. And you'll notice, um, the Ed Sheeran Lego riding at the top. Now I'm not very good at Lego riding, but I knew it needed something sort of bold at the top to really spell out, you know, who this belonged to. And um, I just finished building the Star Theatre at that time, and I looked at the writing I used on that and thought, look, that would do for the Ed Sheeran writing, uh, given I didn't have that much time to play around with a, a new design. And this is the back again at the top, and I wanted to um, have all the concert dates sort of marked um, on the stage as, a, as well. And this was meant to be sort of, you know, a real memento um, of that tour. So I thought it was a good sort of finishing touch to have uh, the concert dates um, on top there. And here is Ed on the centre And the centre screen is just a photo uh, printed on photo paper and glued on. Uh, glue doesn't sound too good on Lego, but it needed to be fastened well and not be peeling off in a few years' time. As I mentioned, I hope that it might have been uh, put on uh, both Ed and Michael's mantelpiece somewhere. Another close-up shot there. A side shot, you can actually see there's like a got a speaker system at the top there and they're a bit fiddly, they did fall off easily, but I'm sure with Ed being a bit of a Lego fan, he'd work out how to attach them back on. And they were probably the only thing that really sort of fell off easily, apart from the minifigs, which, you know, could, could come off. Um, it was fairly sort of built rock solid to be able to survive the transport. So this was me um, handing it over to Michael. Uh, obviously got it completed on time. This was at the Crown Casino, well it was at Silk's restaurant at the Crown where uh, Michael just had his finishing his lunch actually. <laughs> My wife uh, um, helped me um, uh, bring in the stages and we had them all boxed up and everything. And Michael didn't actually know that uh, these were being made until that morning when his staff told him um, so he was rather surprised and happy to receive one as well. Um, and uh, very happy to be able to obviously awarding one to Ed that afternoon, uh, right before Ed was going to go on stage at um, Optus Stadium. Here is Michael handing it over to Ed. And uh, as mentioned, it was just yeah, right before he was about to go on stage. They sent me a text message saying that um, it had been presented to him and uh, apparently Ed really liked it. So yeah, mission accomplished, I guess. And so Frontier Touring didn't mess around. They sort of stuck it up on their Instagram page straight away. And they put it in the Sunday Times newspaper as well. 
and uh, that's one of the posts I had on their Facebook page. So my phone was just going off for about a week with notifications with everyone spotting on, on Facebook or in the paper. It was a bit crazy, really. And look, it was, you know, a real sort of great privilege to be able to, to build this for Ed and, and one for Michael as well, of course. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, it was a job. They, they did pay for the parts and uh, it was just, you know, it was great to be part of. Uh, it did help, you know, bring the club, uh, help the club out in terms of um, a bit more promotion. So, you know, that was uh, really awesome as well. Um, I didn't get to meet Ed. Uh, apparently, he only <laughs> likes to um, have people backstage that he knows, which is fair enough. I wasn't really, you know, too fussed about that. Um, but, you know, I just was really thrilled to be able to meet Michael Gadinsky, really. So thanks so much for watching. Um, hope to have another video up soon. I'm actually <laughs> building a pink roadhouse. Yes, pink, can you believe? Um, so hope to have a video of that up soon. Um, if you haven't already subscribed and you like this video, please hit subscribe. Um, thanks so much again for watching and bye for now.